The following program is a Town of Colony television production of the William K. Sanford Town Library. Monster Monster by Melanie Walsh. Come and play the monster game. Which one is the monster? Are you the monster? Ha! No! I'm a pirate! How about you? No! I'm a nurse! A nurse! Monster, is that you? No, I'm a mouse hiding from a cat. Meow. Could it be you? Is this one a monster? Oh, no, I'm a cowboy. Yeah, monster, monster, that must be you. Nope, I'm a space explorer. Ready for takeoff. What about this one? No? <gasps> no, I'm a cat. Where's that mouse? Where is it? Could you be the monster? Ha! No, I'm a princess. Are you the monster? <gasps> yes, I'm the monster. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, no. What's that crunching sound? Uh oh, it ate our book, you guys. It's me, I'm the monster, and I'm hungry. Do we eat books? Yeah. Ah! This is a story about a little monkey. And what do you think he swallows? A frog. a frog. You got it. He's kind of a silly looking monkey, isn't he? I guess that's why he swallowed the frog. Let's see what happens to him. There was an old monkey. Did you see him? There, that's the frog. Who swallowed a frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed some cocoa. It made him act loco, that chocolatey cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a bat. Imagine that. He swallowed a bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a toucan. I wouldn't try it, but you certainly can. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed an iguana. I wouldn't eat it, but maybe you wanna. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. 
There was an old monkey who swallowed a cat, gobbled it down just like that. He swallowed the cat to hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a sloth. He let out a cough when he gulped down that sloth. He swallowed the swath, swa sloth to squash the cat. He swallowed the cat to hurt, hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a tapir. It tastes like paper, that rainforest tapir. He swallowed the tapir to bump the sloth. He swallowed the sloth to squash the cat. He swallowed the cat to hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a mango. He danced the tango while eating that mango. He swallowed the mango to flavor the tapir. He swallowed the tapir to bump the sloth. He swallowed the sloth to squash the cat. He swallowed the cat to hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a croc. Plucked from a rock, that sunny old croc. He swallowed the croc to snap at the mango. He swallowed the mango to flavor the tapir. He swallowed the tapir to bump the sloth. He swallowed the sloth to squash the cat. He swallowed the cat to hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. There was an old monkey who swallowed a vine. He slurped and he burped as he dined on that vine. He swallowed the vine to lasso the croc. He swallowed the croc to snap at the mango. He swallowed the mango to flavor the tapir. He swallowed the tapir to bump the sloth. He swallowed the sloth to squash the cat. He swallowed the cat to hunt the iguana. He swallowed the iguana to go with the toucan. He swallowed the toucan to squawk at the bat. He swallowed the bat right after the cocoa. He swallowed the cocoa to sweeten the frog. I don't know why he swallowed the frog. What a hog. Rumble, rumble, rumble. There was an old monkey whose tummy did rumble. Yours would too if you swallowed a jungle. That's what his tummy looks like. Oh my goodness. I bet he's full. I don't think I want to swallow all that stuff, do you? The Dog House. You know The Dog House by Jan Thomas? On the cover you see another mouse. Do you remember what letter mouse starts with? M. And he looks really scared. I think he's afraid of the doghouse. Every time we say the doghouse, we're going to pretend it's a scary place and we're going to say, the doghouse. Can you say that? The doghouse. All right. Oh, no. The ball went into the dog house. Who will get it out? Crack! A thunder.
thunderstorm is coming. Mouse says, cow will. Cow is big. Cow is brave. Cow is strong. And cow says, moo. Whoa. So cow goes into the dog house. But cow does not come out. Now cow and the ball are in the dog house. Who will get them out? Pig will. Pig is smart. Pig is wise. Pig is stinky. Stinky, says pig. So pig goes into the dog house. And he insists, I am not stinky. But the pig does not come out. Now cow and pig and the ball are in the dog house. Who will get them out? Quack, 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 quack. Duck will. Duck is, um, well, duck is, uh, duck is noisy. Quack, 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 quack. So duck goes into the dog house. Quack, quack, quack. But duck does not come out. And mouse says, can't you come out, duck? No, because I'm having duck for dinner, says the big dog. Duck for dinner? Ah, oh, too bad Mouse couldn't come to dinner too. Mm, no more turnips? And they're all sitting down having dinner inside the dog house. There you have it. This last book we're going to read today is called Should I Share My Ice Cream? Do you guys like ice cream? Yeah. Raise your hand if you like ice cream. I love ice cream. Well, sometimes because we love ice cream so much, it might be hard to share. So in this book by Mo Willems, Elephant gets an ice cream. And let's see if he can share his ice cream. Should I share my ice cream? Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. What flavor do you think that is, that green ice cream? Mint, mmm, my favorite. Oh boy, oh boy, I love ice cream, says Elephant. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Hmm, Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? What do you think? Should Elephant share his ice cream? Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? Hmm. 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 Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Do you think maybe Piggy doesn't like that flavor? Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. <gasps> Wait. Piggy will like this flavor. It's very yummy. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. <gasps> but wait, Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. I will eat the ice cream. Uh, wait, where is Piggy? 
What if she is sad somewhere? Look <gasps> at poor little piggy. I must find her. When I do, I will say, would you like my ice cream? Then she will say, thank you, that would cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my <gasps> ice cream. What happened to the ice cream? It melted. Oh, no. <gasps> no. <laughs> now Piggy cannot have any of the ice cream. Now I cannot have any of the ice cream. <gasps> I blew it. Oh, poor elephant. <gasps> Who's coming? Who's coming? <gasps> That's right. You look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Says Piggy. <laughs> Thank you. That would cheer me up. Says elephant. Yum. Wait a minute, that was not my plan, <laughs> says Elephant. Oh well, this works too. An elephant and piggy get ice cream to share. <laughs> the end. <laughs>
the lamp post, he cried, he twisted his shoe. From up there, I'd get a spectacular view. The jugglers were juggling, baton twirlers twirled. But King Mo, the most timid boy in the world, looked pale as he groaned. It's a curse being king. I can't find a seat belt to wear in this thing. A policeman saw Humpty and yelled, Come on down, we don't allow climbing on poles in this town. Humpty slid down the lamppost. That's all right, he said. I think I'll climb up on that brick wall instead. Mo waved from the window. The townspeople cheered. At the top of the wall, Humpty Dumpty appeared. Mo hollered, look, mother, up on that wall. If that egg isn't careful, he's going to fall. Happy birthday, King Mo. Humpty started to yell. It was then that the egg lost his footing and fell. He flipped through the air and then, in a flash, tore straight through the roof of the coach with a crash. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Mo picked up some shells and started to cry. Then his mom whispered, Dear, why don't you give it a try? It's just like a puzzle, she said with a wink. The king set to work. I can do it, I think. Mo patched up the egg. Humpty looked good as new except for his nose and a bandage or two. You're clever, said Humpty. You're brave, said the king. Though fragile and round, you will try anything. You fixed me, said Humpty. I don't have a clue. I wish I were thoughtful and patient like you. I'm an egg. You're a king. But what do you say? Would you like to come over to my house and play? May I go, pleaded Mo. Oh, mother, say yes. Absolutely, she smiled. Humpty, what's your address? The boys climbed on top of the carriage to ride. Hooray, it's my best birthday ever, Mo cried. Wild feelings. Do you ever feel as stubborn as a mule? Go to bed. Does he want to go to bed? Mm -mm. Or as chicken as a chicken? Ah! <laughs> How about as clumsy as an ox? <laughs> you probably do. Do you sometimes feel as sad as a lost kitten in the rain? Meow. Or as small as a mouse? How about totally and completely alone? Oh. Or as daffy as a duck? <laughs> or positively batty? Raise your hand if you've ever hung from the ceiling at school. I'm impressed. Do you sometimes get really, really mad? And feel totally out of control? And you don't even know why? Of course you do. Is it just kids that feel like that? Yeah. No! Look at that! Everyone does! Look, the mommy feels stubborn as a mule. Hmm. And the daddy feels like a walrus. And oof, the uncle is barking like a dog. And I don't know why, but she has a parrot mask. Look at that. It's only natural. Is it normal for everybody to have big feelings? No, you make it. <gasps> that was very silly. That was so silly.